Okay. All over the internet. Okay, now what? Okay, we're good to go. Here you go. Even now. Yeah, but how do I know that I'm on? Marty, you're on. We can hear you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Joe. I told you. I got a lot there. I'm, I'm not used to this stuff. Hi, Hi Dana. <laughs> Hi. Bye, ladies. Up you, Ashman. How you doing, Dana? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Your video's right. off, though. My video's off? Yes, all we see is your name. Uh, I don't know why. Up across the top, Marty, hit the button. Says video. Just gave you a prompt. You should, you should be able to click on that. And I just did. It. Now we see you. Now there. See, look at that handsome face. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, JP. Hey, what's up? How's Angela? Angela is just leaving to go play poker. Put her on the video so I can see what the nice Ange part of the family looks like. Angela, you can come on up for a minute. <laughs> I've just spent two days with this guy. What a pain. Did you hear him, honey? He said he he just said you spent two days with me and I'm a pain in his butt. Yeah, you're a pain in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pardon me? I said she's just going out the door. Oh. She wouldn't she didn't want to get on camera because she's still in her jammies. It's going down to her daughters to play poker. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we're, it's uh, six o'clock. The commander's uh, now has control. If everyone could please put your screens on mute or your microphones on mute, and we are streaming live on YouTube now. How do I put it on mute, Joe? Sure. For everybody, um, one, if if you are on the phone and you're not uh, on these videos. Press star six to mute yourself. You can also hit star six to unmute yourself. If you want to raise your hand to be recognized, hit star nine. Uh, the majority here are on the screen. Um, if you are on a computer, it should be toward the bottom left corner. It'll be a microphone. Click on that, it'll turn red, and that means you're muted. You do the same thing to unmute yourself. If you're on a tablet or a, a smartphone, you're probably gonna have to touch your screen to find the mute button. Since there's so many different devices, I don't really have an answer. For phone, but you usually touch your screen, mute button, it look like a microphone. Tablets are upper left-hand corner. Or right-hand corner, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm well, he, he is on mute. Oh, you mean mute so If we do get background noise, we, we will mute you. You'll have to unmute yourself. You will get a, a message that either pops on your screen or a voice that comes up on your screen because you've now been muted. You know what? Unmute him. Unmute everybody. Unmute him until roll call is over. Amanda Brown, are you there? I am. So whenever you'd like, we'll. Um, All right. I'll be watching for the mute. All right. I'd like to call this spring NEC meeting to order. Could we have the invocation by Chaplain Saladay, please? Gary, don't forget to unmute. Hey, Commander, I, I believe he just jumped in. Okay. Chaplain Saladay. Didn't there twice, but doesn't appear to be connected to audio. Right. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, Joe, I'll I'll give him a call and try to work with him on the side. We will hold for just a second, please. 
There he is. All right. Sorry, I'm I couldn't hear a thing till now. Are you ready for the invocation? Yes, please. All right. Now we pray. From Proverbs 19th chapter. The human mind may deceive many plans, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will be established. Father, we ask you to be with us today as we go through this meeting. We ask you, Lord, to uh, give us the uh, right mindset to make decisions for our organization as we move forward. We thank you for those who are in attendance. We ask you, Lord, to watch over our nation, be with those who lead us, and help us, Lord, to continue to serve in any way we can. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let it be. Oh, does it look like Art Major signed on? I have not seen him, no. All right. He he did indicate, uh, Nancy Brown, if you would lead us in the uh, honors to the callers, please. Thank you. It's an honor to, to represent Art at this time. Uh, hand salute. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, one nation under God, 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 God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Justice for all. For all. For all. <clears throat> Joe, if you want to do the roll call now, please. Sure. Um, Roll call, we usually do by district. Um, we'll be doing them, because this is what I have in front of me, unfortunately. Um, I, it'll be alphabetical by state, and then I will do our district officers, our district commanders, and our national officers. So, Alaska, Don Oliver. Alabama, Charles Dubeck. Uh, Christy Long. Present. Thank you. Arizona, Charles Epps. I know he's on. We'll come back, Mr. Epps. He's, he's muted. Okay. Uh, record will show he's uh, here. Uh, California, Sandra Durbin. Connecticut, Dana Dillon. I am here, and my alternate was also here earlier. It's on mute now. Thank you. Um, District of Columbia, Aaron Smith. Here. Delaware, Tom Jones. Here. Florida, Alan Baguette. Here. Georgia, Frederick Bates. Here, and we have no alternate. It's muted now. Thank you. And yes, if, if you have an alternate or had an alternate, yeah, when it's green, please let us know. Florida, Larry Vi is not on. Him. He's the alternate. Thank you. He didn't hear you though, did he? Yeah, it'll take that up, yes. Miles, are we able to? Oh, he said. Hawaii, Arlie O'Care. Iowa, Barry Remington. I saw Barry on. Yes, I'm here. Thanks, Barry. Bill. Illinois, Christopher Studebaker. I'm here. Uh, my alternate NEC, Bill Buckner, will not be on. He is getting his first COVID shot right now. Thank you, Chris. Indiana, um, Mike Davis. Here. Thank you. Kansas, Larry Shippey. Present. Alternate NEC. Thank you. Kentucky, Alan Smith. Here. Thank you. Louisiana, Gary Stewart. Here. No alternate. Massachusetts, Walter PC make it. Uh, Walter's probably not there. This is Caroline Kenyon, State Commander, Alternate NEC. Thank you, Kenyon. Mayor, 
Um, Maryland, Michael Mahoney. Here. Maine, James Laughlin. My alternate won't be here. Maine. He's in the hospital. James Laughlin's here, but my alternate, Rod Anderson, won't be on. Thank you. Michigan, John Horschel. Here, and alternate, uh, Annie Seen Leonard Hogan was here. Thank you. Minnesota, Mike Cook. No, he's not here. Is there an alternate for Minnesota? Missouri. I know uh, Robert Lee is is there a alternate for Missouri? North Carolina, David Wilburn. North of Curry, North North Dakota, Murray Strom. Here. Thank you. Nebraska, Albert Albert Christianer. New Jersey, James Spring. Here. Well, then it's not on. Thank you. New Mexico, Sarah Langley. Here. New York, Jack Gray. Is there an alternate for New York? Ohio, worries. I'm here and my alternate as well. Thank you. Thank you. Oregon, Murray Cooksley. Murray Cooksley, here. Thank you, Murray. Pennsylvania, PNC Stahl. Uh, present and Reed Riley is the alternate. I believe he's on. I'm not sure. Thank you. Rhode Island, Arthur Rodriguez. Yeah, here and my alternate, uh, Ray Cowell, is also here. Thank you. South Carolina, Michael Olson. I'm here. I'm not sure if the alternate is here. That's uh, Earl Hood, our state commander. Earl, are you here? Thank you. Tennessee, Ronald Bottomley. I'm here, Joe. I'm not sure if my alternate's on. That'd be Joe Carter. Is Joe Carter here? Texas, Bobby Lumpkins. Bobby Lumpkins is here. Thank and you. I have my alternate, Curtis Thomas. Thank you. Virginia, Rick Van Dorten. Here. And my alternate is deceased. Thank you. Hey, why do you work? Rest in peace. Washington, Steve Bird. This is Steve Bird. I am here. Uh, my alternate, Robert Macon, is not on this call. Thank you. All right. Mark Reiling. <laughs> Mark Reiling is online, and my alternate, Jim Rupel, is also online. Thank you. West Virginia, Ed Straka. I'm here. My alternate uh, is not here. He's not on. Joe Hutton. Oh. Thank you. District Commanders, District 1, Marty Ashman. Here. District 2, Jerry Gunari. Jerry, you on with us? District 3, Derek Everett. Derek Everett is here. District 4, Richard Van Atta. Here. 5, Mary Waite. She was here. was on with us, as was Jerry. Uh, District Six, Charles Wharton. District Six, Charles Wharton is here. Joe, I have a change. Okay. Uh, my alternate, Wendell Robbins, is online. Thank you. National Provost Marshal Art Majors. National Judge Advocate, you can see Jim King. Jim King is here. National Finance Officer, Donald Stream. I'm here. National Third District, or Third Vice Commander, Bill Clark. I know Bill is here. <laughs> National Second Vice Bill Clark, Commander. Clark, I'm here. <clears throat> National Second Vice Commander, Donald McClain. Present. National First Vice Commander Greg Hewn. I am also present. 
National Commander Jan Brown. Present. Uh, before I move on to our past national commanders, are there any other members who I did not call or you did not hear me call? Jerry Gennari, present. Thank you, Jerry. I couldn't find the unmute button. <laughs> <laughs> okay. BNC Pining. I'm here. Thank you. PNC King, been called Everything once. King is still here. Thank you. PNC Smith. PNC Kenny. PNC Wolford. PNC Taylor. Another PNC wearing two hats, PNC Stahl. Present. PNC Opowski. PNC Kilgore. Here. PNC Betcher. PNC Brown. Here. PNC Miskillin. Here. PNC Hotop. There is excuse. He called me and said he couldn't do none of that stuff this weekend. Okay. Thank you. Uh, PNC Fry. Excuse me, Joe. Yes. Um, Art Majors just called me. Um, he wanted to be excused because he said he's having trouble trying to get on. So I told him I'd let you know. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. PNC Mitchell. Present. Present. Thank you. PNC Vi. PNC Pigeon. PNC Chapman. He's flying out here with me. They can't hear you. PNC Polk. And PNC Riley. Uh, PNC Brown, I'm going to send you an email since PNC Hotop's not. Would you be able to read that during this meeting? I have the report if that's what you're talking about. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, did I miss anybody? Hey, Joe, we've got Joe. It's Rick Van Norton. Can you hear me? Yes, Rick. We can hear you. I have you marked uh, as here as present. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Joe. Brown. Joe. Oh, Joe? Yes. I didn't hear you call the chaplain. Chaplain? Here. Oh, yes, Commander. Cha I'm sorry. Uh, chaplain Saladay. Yes. <laughs> I'm here. Thank you, PNC. Can I appreciate that? Commander, that completes roll call. Joe. Thank you. Uh, with those of you that are off mute, go back on to mute. If you, anytime you're not speaking, please. That way you'll learn where the button is. Uh, I need a, a motion to approve the agenda. Adoption. Motion. Agenda. Motion to adopt the agenda is printed. Second. Dana, NEC Connecticut. Motion's been made and seconded to adopt the agenda. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Aye. Motion, aye. motion carried. Need a motion to accept the uh, approval of the minutes from the last NEC meeting a year ago. So so moved. Six, so moved. NEC. Okay, all in favor, motion's been made and seconded to accept the minutes from the last NEC meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Minutes have been approved. Do we have any visitors right now? Do we have any visitors right now? 
No. Uh, at this time, we start with the NEC reports. District one, uh, Marty Ashman, if you'll start with the district reports. Please know everyone is on mute at this point, other than the commander. So you're going to have to unmute yourself to present your report. Marty, you there? He's still muted. I'd help you, Marty, but I can't see your phone, so. I can see him, he's still muted. Okay, I should be unmuted now. There you go. All right, okay. all right, Marty, thank you. Sorry, Commander. My report's in the book. Uh, there's not much going on in, in the district uh, due to the COVID. Uh, all the uh, uh, states in my district have, have reported to uh, the NEC. Um, you can read them in the, in the book. Um, I do keep in touch with the uh, state commanders and NEC uh, reps uh, for their states. And uh, we did have a Zoom meeting uh, two weeks ago that went very well. Uh, and I appreciate Joe, you being there and helping us out with that. Commander, that's my report and I move for its adoption at the proper time. All right. Dana? My report's in the book and I have nothing to add to that. It's good seeing everybody and I hope my report is accepted at the proper time. Thank you. Mr. Laughlin. My report is in the book and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Mr. Sprang. My report's in the book and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Is there anybody here from New York? Jack Gray? He did, he did have a report, so it is in the book. Uh, Rodriguez? Commander? Yes. Marty is from New York. Well, that's true. But there, he, his, he has a report in the book, so we're good. Art Rodriguez? Yeah, my report in the book uh, of my COVID uh, today. Not feeling that well, but I'm here. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you, Art. All right. Uh, District 2, Jerry Ganeri. Good evening, Commander Brown, officers, fellow AMVETS. I'm Jerry Gennari, National District 2 Commander. My, page, my report is on page 12, and I would like to highlight and add a few notes. On page 12 and 13, my name is misspelled as Gerald. It's Gerard, G-E-R-A-R-D, if we could kindly make that correction. Uh, programs continue to, act, to be exercised as we follow guidelines to stay safe. The tale is told as we review the reports on our national website. Speaking of programs reporting, I tried logging in yesterday and today and I can't get in. It's saying that, that it's not safe and there's a address there, avits.us. It doesn't say avits.org. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I couldn't do my follow-ups yesterday or today. Uh, immediate past National Commander Reeds Riley has been a great influence to the Department of Pennsylvania and all the departments in District 2 in many ways and long before he became National Commander. Let me explain. Department of Pennsylvania continues to hold the highest standard with the most posts in our district and continually achieves 100% reporting first ahead of the other six departments in our National District 2 for every six month interval, interval of national programs reporting period. Congrats. Thank you, Reeds, Riley, PNC, and Pennsylvania Abbots. National District 2 also continues to hold the highest percentage of reporting at 97%. This is highest over the other districts as reported for the July to December 2020 reporting period. In previous reporting periods, going back to when I made commander, July through December 2019, January to July 2020, and again, most recent, July to December 2020, the highest percentage of the other AMBIT national districts. Bravo and thank you for all you do, AMBIT's National District 2. 
Currently, Honor Guards providing services in our community are very active and is the largest reporting of programs. A consolidated list of all the posts and supported organizations is now in progress. Let's all get our active Honor Guards listed on the new national list. There isn't a national post list or a national standard operating procedure document. I'm sure these topics will be discussed at the Honor Guard Committee meeting during a convention this August in Greensboro. It was also mentioned to me by Harry that we would be seeing this more in the future with revalidation. Service within the districts, our post department national service officers continually assist members, veterans, family, and obtain veteran benefits, also military, veteran assistance, state, and local benefits in their community. Uh, I seen that there was a time where funding was a concern with the pandemic going on, and I strongly recommend we increase continual funding to our National Service Officer Program. The next National District 2 meeting information will be released in the near future after COVID-19 restrictions are lifted and that we can travel safely to meet without health concerns. Commander Brown, this is my report and I call for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Uh, Department of Delaware. Tom Jones, Delaware. My report is in the book and I move for adoption at the proper time. Thank you. District of Columbia. Commander. My report is on page 14, and I move for its proper, for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Uh, let's see. North Carolina. I don't, I don't know if David's in the here, but he has a report in the book. Uh, Commander of North Carolina, uh, he's trying to get in now, and they won't let him in for some reason. All right. The system's not letting them in. All right. Um, he just called P me. PNC stall. Uh, Commander Brown, Pennsylvania would like to congratulate you for being the first female commander to serve consecutive terms. And we also think that you're doing an excellent job during this stressful time. Thank My you. report is in the book on page 16, and I respectfully request that it is accepted at the proper time. Thank you. Mr. Straka, West Virginia. Greetings. My report is on page 17 of the book. We had some act pretty good activity during this last period. We had three posts out of the state were selected to handle the food giveaway from First Energy. And that was a resounding success. Uh, the rest of it is all pretty much waylaid by COVID, but we've accomplished some things and we get a chance to take a look. I respectfully request my report be considered and approved at the proper time. Thank you. Thank you. District three, Derek Everett. Yes, uh, my uh, report is on page 20 in the book, and I move for uh, its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Uh, Alabama, did he come in? He did submit a report. Uh, Florida, Alan Baggett. Commander, my report's on page 22 in the book, and I move for its adoption at the appropriate time. Mr. Bates. Madam, my report's on page 23 and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Uh, Mr. Stewart, join us. Uh, yes, my, book, my report is in the book, Commander, such as it is. Uh, we're still pretty well locked down in Louisiana. Actually, my post will be opening Monday. It's been closed since last March. Oh, so, well, I'm yeah. glad it's opening. <laughs> It's, I've asked for it to be adopted at the proper time, Commander. Thank you. Uh, South Carolina, Mike Olson. Uh, yes, Commander. My report is in the book on page 25, and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. And Ron Bottomley, Tennessee. 
Hello, Commander. Uh, Department of Tennessee Commander Steve Norwood asked me to convey to you and to Executive Director uh, Shinelli. He's got COVID and he's not able to be on this call with us. He asked me to convey that the juniors do have a project coming up this summer. And as soon as he's well, he's reaching out to all the parts of the AMBETS family. Uh, my report is on page 26. And I have one correction at the top of page 27. The venue for our state uh, convention has moved from uh, the Glenwater Hotel to the Edgewater Hotel. That's my report. And I move for its uh, acceptance at the proper time. Thank you. Mr. Vanetta. Commander. Or, yes, ma'am. I was missed. Oh, I'm sorry, Carolyn. Did I'm you... not Carolyn, but. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You, you are. Six. Chrissy, I'm sorry, Chrissy. Uh, I don't have a report in the book, but I can give one really quick. Thank you. Um, NEC Arkansas here. Um, we've had some posts that have been shut down for about a year, like other posts. My post itself has not reopened due to COVID. Um, we are fighting to save a couple posts because we've had members out of those posts um, pass away. And, and these are small posts that have like 10, 12 members in them. And, um, you know, really don't want to grow their pace. So we're trying to save a couple of our posts. And um, installing new posts is, posts is on hold for right now due to the pandemic. Um, but we're hanging in there as best we can. That is my report, Commander. And I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. And I understand that David Wilborn has... Uh, joined us. David, are you there? Yes. Ma yes, ma'am. Yeah. Commander? Yes. Hello? Commander, yes. I'm David Wilson here, Department of North Carolina. Sorry. Uh, your report uh, is in the book? My report is on my uh, page 20. Uh, uh, page 15. I'm sorry. My pages, my report is on page 15, uh, Commander. I, um, I am, uh, it's correct, and I ask for its adoption at the proper time, Commander. Thank you. All right. Now, Mr. Vanetta. Thank you, Commander. My report's in the book on page 29, and I have been staying in touch with. NECs, some of the department commanders, uh, a few other selected folks, my district officers, we, we seem to touch base quite often. And every department, the membership has improved greatly. There's still a few posts because of the COVID are just now starting to open after being closed for a year. And last weekend we did have a Zoom meeting and it went very well. This is my report. Thank you. I, go ahead. All right. We'll move for its adoption at the proper time. Illinois, Chris Studebaker. Commander, my report is on page 30 of the book and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Indiana, and I think that's Mike Davis. That yes, right? Commander. Uh, Indiana's report is in the book. And um, one correction to that is that uh, our spring conference has been canceled for this year. It has. Okay. I move for my report to be accepted at the proper time. All right. Uh, Iowa. Commander Barry Remington, my report's on page 32, and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Kentucky, Alan Smith. My report's on page 33. I have one correction. The SEC meetings are scheduled for April 10th. And Clay City has been canceled by the commander, and uh, I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. And uh, Michigan. 
John Heckerl, NEC Michigan. My report is in the book and I ask for its approval at the proper time. Thank you. Is there anybody here from Missouri? They do have a, a report in the book. We will accept. Anybody going once? <laughs> All right, uh, we'll accept his report. Uh, Sandy Voorhees, Ohio. Can you hear me, Commander? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> My uh, report is on page 36 and 37, and I ask that it be adopted at the proper time. Thank you. Thank you. And Mark Ryling, Wisconsin. Good evening, Commander. Mark Ryling, Department NEC, Wisconsin. My report's on page 38, and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. National District 5, Mary Waite. <laughs> Mary Waits here. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you to everyone for the hard work they have done during this unprecedented time. <clears throat> um, my district report is in the book, and I asked for its adoption at the proper time. And um, I'm going to call on Murray Strom from North Dakota to give his report. Thank you. Marie Strum here in North Dakota. My, I sent my report in. It should be in the book and ask for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Larry Shippey. I saw you earlier, Larry. On once, he may just not be able to get off mute if he's still here. How about Albert Christner? Anybody here from Nebraska? Right. I don't about, believe anybody is here for Lloyd Chrysler today. Okay, thank and you. And Larry is here. Yeah, I saw he was here. I'm going to let him use my phone. Okay. Okay. I'm Larry Shippey, Austin NEC from Kansas, and I move for the adoption of my report since it's in the book at the proper time. Thank you. All right. Is Bobby Lumpkins here? Texas? Yes, I'm Bobby Lumpkins from Texas. And my report's in the book on page 44. And I move for its adoption at the proper time. All right, thank you. Did I miss anybody from District 5? No. All right. Uh, District 6, Charles Wharton. Thank you, Commander Brown. District 6, Commander. Chuck Wharton. My report's in the book on page 46, and I'm moved for its adoption to proper time. I would also add that we are holding our breath, waiting for guidance for election methodologies in our respective states if we need alternatives. Thank you. Alrighty. Did Don Oliver ever check in? He does in the book, uh, Sandra Durbin. Sandra from California. She does have a report in the book. Uh, Orly Milcare, Milcare from uh, Hawaii. Did you join us? How about Sarah Langley? I know she's here. Sarah? Sarah, you're on mute.
star, star six to unmute, I think. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, got that. Man, I'm learning this stuff. Okay, my report is in the book. <clears throat> I do not know what page, but there is a couple of calls. There's one correction on the service. Uh, our post seven, we made phone calls and sent out Christmas cards to about 100 veterans in our post. Uh, and post 12 sent their report in to national. I do not know why, but that's what I was told. Uh, and I would move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Let's see, Arizona wasn't listed. Is anybody from Arizona here? Yeah, I think so. Mr. Epps. Yeah, Mr. Epps. Yeah, I thought I saw you there. Charles, are you there? Who, who are you calling for, please? Mr. Epps. Oh, I'm sorry. Not me. <clears throat> Charles, are you there? It's on my mute. I can hear you, but I can't. You can't hear me. I can hear you now. Yes. Okay. Uh, Charles Epps, Department of Arizona. Uh, due to the COVID, we have nothing to report at this time, Commander. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming yes. with us today, Commander. Commander yes. uh, Mike Mahoney from Maryland. I didn't make the book because we had. Between snow and ice and the COVID, and we had some people come down with COVID, we had a slow start. However, the last three, four weeks, things have picked up. And uh, I'd like to give a quick report, if I might. Can we do it after I finish District 6? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. I'll remember to call you. Uh, Murray Cooksey. Murray, Oregon. Saw you earlier. He is on, he's on mute. All right. I'm sending him a prompt to try to get him, help him get off mute. There we go. There we Here go. I am. Murray Cooksley, Department of Oregon. My report's found on page 54 and I'd like to ask for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Steve Bird, Washington State. Yeah, this is Steve Bird, uh, NEC, Washington, Department of Washington. Uh, my report is on page 55. I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. And Mr. Mahoney, we're back to you. All right. Uh, our, our first vice commander, Ed McKinnon, and a committee have created a new membership incentive plan for our department. The posts are working hard on membership renewals, but it's been tough with the COVID restrictions in our area. Our longtime Americanism and AADA chairman, and who's also my alternate, Ron Hall, has retired because of health issues. Uh, former National Programs Director Carla Lanthan has stepped up into these positions. Uh, first Vice Ed McKinnon is working on the Department Scholarship Program. Our, Department Honor Guard has performed two funeral services for deceased veterans in the last three weeks. Post 7 donated $1,000 to a needy veteran from their Veterans Assistance Fund. Our April DEC will be April 11th in Waldorf, Maryland, and we've decided to, because of COVID, move our convention this year from two days to just one. Our legislative committee to the Joint Veteran Committee of Maryland has been on hold because they keep canceling the meetings and now they say they aren't having another meeting till September. And we, we held our first department finance committee meeting on Zoom on Ju uh, July, January 23rd and it went re re really well. And we have been doing virtual VA VS committee meetings with the VA hospitals. So I hope everyone stays safe and, and 
Well, I'm really getting older. Instead of having a high and tight like I used to, I have a bald and tight. So God bless you all. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot more beards this time too. Mr. Dubeck <laughs> from Alabama, I understand you've signed in. Yes, ma'am, I did. I'm sorry for being late. That's okay. Uh, uh, my, uh, Charles Dobrik of Alabama, my report is on page 21 and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thank you. Is there any... any... District two? Uh, in addition to our reports for National District 2, Rick Van Norton is online and has not given his report yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just getting ready to ask if there was somebody I had missed. Thank you, Commander. Rick? Uh, Commander Brown, can you hear me? Yes, yes, sir, I can. Hello? Yes, hello. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, the Department of Virginia, like many departments, is enduring all the trials that come with the ongoing COVID pandemic. We continue to operate and serve our veteran communities within the guidelines outlined by our governor. Our DEC was com conducted remotely on January the 16th with roughly half of our post and department officers participating. Our posts continue to monitor and assist veterans throughout the department. Our financial support from our thrift shops cut to in half uh, to what we were normally receiving monthly. A big financial plus was realized when Post 5 of Bristol, Virginia donated a sum of $10,000. Post 14 of Portsmouth, Virginia has donated money to the Hampton Veterans Medical Facilities, the Southeastern Virginia and Eastern Shore Food Bank. Uh, members uh, per, have also participated in the Christmas wreath laying at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery. Uh, Post 511 went through an extensive audit by the IRS, and they're happy to report that uh, as of December, the IRS is satisfied that they met their expectations. Post 50 of Pulaski, Virginia reported donations of $1,200 to Vittles for Vets, the Pulaski Christmas Store, and the South Virginia Cemetery, Southwest Virginia Cemetery. Post 30 continues to meet in person while adhering to the requirements set forth by the governor of our Commonwealth. And they are donating both dress and work clothes to the Hampton VA Medical Center. Post 18 has, of Winchester, Virginia, opened our post home in Stephen City after months of preparation. All AMVETS members are invited to join once we are once again able to open in public. All the meetings since November have been virtual. Our ladies auxiliary now has 15 members and our son has, sons have 18 members and we're working to get our charters completed so that we'll be off and running when we reopen. We would like to recognize Post 50 for their generous donation of Post Furniture, Post 7 for their advice and continuing financial support and both Grover Gaming and Pete Karagoff of <clears throat> Kara George of Painos for their generous comp contribution of time and help and furnishings and support. It is with great sadness that we recognize the pass passing of Whitey Turner of Post 7, who is my NEC alternate. He's also a past department commander and a past post commander. We'd also like to recognize Nate Blount of Post 14, who passed away as a result of COVID. He served on his PEC of his post home in Portsmouth, as well as he was the vice commander of our, of our department. And finally, we recognize Scott Newland of Post 69 in Virginia Beach for his active participate, participation in the AMVETS program, and he also passed away. All of our posts are actively trying to recruit new members, assist veterans, and volunteer in their communities. I apologize for uh, getting my, my report in late. Um, but this is my report for the Department of Virginia, and I ask it to be approved and accepted at the proper time. Thank you. Thank you. Did I miss anybody? <laughs> yes, ma'am. This is Caroline Kenyon, oh. State Commander and Alton at NEC for the Department of Massachusetts. Thank you. I believe my NEC, Walter Pizzi, did submit a report. I'm not sure what page. Please accept uh, this report at the proper time. Hold on, let me see here. He did not submit a report. He did not. Ah. Well, Massachusetts, it's been very slow getting back into the swing of it. 
thanks to the COVID. So um, as soon as we get the okay from the governor to open up a lot of more posts that we have, um, it's gonna be a slow process for us. Other than that, it's gonna be one in progress for me. Please accept my report. Thank you. Anybody else that I missed? Once, twice, three times. I will entertain a motion to accept all the district and department reports at this time. So moved. So moved. Second. 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 Who was that? Tom Jones, Delaware. Thank you. All right. Uh, motion's been made and seconded to accept all, all the department and district reports. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 That's the motion. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. We'll now uh, hear the National Finance Officer's Report, Don Stream. You there, Don? You were there earlier, Don. <laughs> Don is on the phone. Don, if you could hear us, hit star six to unmute yourself. Star six. Or asterisk six, if that's what you... Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, Don. Well, okay. I apologize. That's okay. Uh, um, good evening, Commander and members of the NEC. Um, just a few. Uh, my my report is on page sixty-five of the book. Uh, just a few comments here. Uh, the National Finance Committee met yesterday afternoon via Zoom, as we have done uh, many times over the past year, working with the uh, National Executive Director, Chanelli, National Controller White, and uh, several other of the officers from the uh, National Headquarters staff. I would like to take this time to just to add something here. I want to thank the National Headquarters staff uh, from the commander on down for the fine work they've done during this past year when things have really been tight and everything like that. They've done an outstanding job, and I think that the membership should know that. Uh, Finance Committee uh, received the annual independent audit report, and it was very, very well uh, uh, done. Uh, we were in good shape. Uh, we were on the right track. The day-to-day -day operations managed and executed well. Uh, the 2021 budget is being built with very slim margins due to the fact of COVID and everything like that, extremely low spending relative to past years low projected revenues, reduced staff and national headquarters have already been at bare bones. They've done a great job considering that. Um, having this meeting virtually instead of Baltimore is saving us about $30,000, so that's a big savings. Uh, that's the average cost of an NAC meeting. Um, also, we have... Our focus on this year's budget was to be as conservative as possible with, with all meetings. Uh, we're still meeting our mission. We wanted to uh, be prepared for whatever may come our way this year, and so far we have been. Um, we have found ways to do more with less, so uh, we should be real proud of that. All of you should be proud of, of that. Again, I want to thank you, the national staff and everyone who's helped on that. Uh, it takes all of us working together, and I know we will. Um, come out of this uh, 
even stronger than before. Commander, that concludes my report. I would like to move for the adoption of my report at the proper time. Okay. I have a motion to accept the uh, finance report. Second, Studebaker, NEC from Illinois. I need a first first. Okay, I'll go move. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I believe, I believe Mr. Stream made a motion to accept his report. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Chris, all right. Uh, all in favor of accepting the finance report, signify by saying yes. Aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank you, Commander. Mr. Kilgore, BAS. National, Com national Commander Brown, national officers and members of the National Executive Committee. My report is abbreviated today because most operations in the BMACs across the country are shut down for outside volunteers to go into the medical center for volunteer work. I received quite a few AJRs, which are the annual joint reviews, which are recap reports of volunteer activities from the past year and monetary donations. Also, these reports are plans for volunteer organization projects for the upcoming year. As always, I ask that the BAVS representatives in their local facilities attend their virtual meetings, and volunteers at local posts can still collect materials that are needed by veterans in hospitals and nursing homes and deliver them to the facilities. They will take them if you bring them to them. National Commander Brown, this concludes my report, and I move for its adoption. Thank you. Is there a second? Second, King. There's been a motion and second to accept the BABS report. All in favor? I'm sorry, is there any discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. I guess my report is next and it's on page 57 in the book. And I would just like to add a couple of things. I wasn't planning on doing a second year. It's been kind of slow uh, as far as travel and stuff. I have. That's not me, by the way. Um, it, is, it has been as far as travel goes, I have made a couple of meetings uh, and a couple of events. Uh, I, I want to reach out and I want you all to know how hard this staff has been working. Even though you may not think they're working that well from home, I would argue to say that they have uh, probably uh, worked harder from home. Uh, I know you can... Uh, if I called Denisha at two o'clock in the morning, more than likely she would be up working. Same thing with uh, some of our other team. Uh, our membership people work very hard. And uh, now that we're getting programs up and running again, uh, but the whole staff, the whole building has uh, really uh, stepped up to the plate and are working through this. So, uh, we're hoping to be back in the office, everybody, by June, if not sooner. And uh, we look forward to a uh, national convention this year. So uh, I move that my report be accepted at the proper time. Second, Florida. Thank you. Greg, can you- Point of order. I, think. I was gonna Point say, Greg, order. can you finish this up? Yes. I know I can't do my own. You can't, if you can't make a motion, you can ask for one. I can ask for a motion for my report to be accepted. I'd so move. Right. Jack of Florida. Thank you. Jack in Ohio, PNC. I have a motion on the floor and duly seconded. Is there any questions? Is there any questions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. likewise. Opposed, likewise. Motion carries. Thank you, Greg. 
Uh, you're up, Mr. Hewn. As uh, Jan says, uh, it, it's been a rough year, and the staff at headquarters has tremendously stepped up to the plate to get things done. And I would like to uh, thank them. They've not once not received a call or a question. My report is on page 58, Commander. And at the appropriate time, I would like to uh, call for its adoption. All right. I'm going to run through all our reports first. So, uh, Don McLean. Yes, President. Thank you, Commander. Uh, my report is on page 59 in the book. Um, I also have been working closely with different members of the headquarters staff and uh, they've always been there every time I've placed the phone call and I thank them for their assistance. So, um, so I ask for my report to be approved at the proper time, please. Thank you. Mr. Clark. Commander, members of the NEC, my report's on uh, page 60. I'd like to add the acknowledge Justin Brown and Madison Plant for the joint effort to put the report together and let's make it slice for a year. Commander, I move uh, up my report off the top. Thank you. Uh, I would entertain a motion that all the officer reports be accepted at this time. So, I'm sorry. Can I, see? Can, I, can I say something, Commander? Yeah, I, I, just, I just saw that I missed you. Uh, <laughs> PNC King. So why don't we do your report first and then we'll do the. Okay. My report's on page 64. And I do have a couple of comments out of it for me. We've had a lot of uh, turmoil, I guess would be a good word for it this past year due to the uh, pandemic. And I think in the future, we need to be prepared for some kind of a national disaster or something of like this coming up again. So I'm proposing that we put together an Appendix F, which would be used only in a case of a national disaster or, or a pandemic. I already have one volunteer to help me put this together and, and I'd look for a couple more. If you would like to do so, please contact me either through email or by my phone. Uh, earlier, somebody had mentioned that they needed or were seeking guidance on how to uh, take care of elections and conventions this year. If you read my reports, there's a couple of suggestions in there. And again, those are just suggestions. Uh, one thing I know about AMVEST is we've always been innovative. And if there's a way to, to accomplish something, we'll find it. So these aren't the only ways you could do it, but there is a suggestion. Uh, with that, Commander, I move my report be adopted at the proper time. Thank you. Let's try that again. Let's accept the officer's reports at this time. May so I move? Ron Bottomley, Tennessee. Thank you. Second, Mr. Brown, Ohio. Thank you. Motion's been made and seconded to uh, accept the, the officer's reports. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 <laughs> All opposed, same sign. Motion passed. Mary White, uh, you have your hand up. Do you need something? No, ma'am. No, Mary White. Let me mute this thing. I'm guessing not. Okay. I'm guessing not. I'm, I'm not. All right. Okay, national staff reports. Uh, Executive Director Cinelli. Uh, yes. Good evening, everyone. Um, my report is on page 70. Um, we have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a lot going on at headquarters as always. Um, I know uh, I don't want to sound like a broken record, been a very interesting year, uh, has been reported as a um, finance officer stream. It mentioned uh, we've done a lot more with a lot less. Uh, we are, uh, as, as many of you know, we have very little in the administrative help at this time. Um, it, National Commander uh, allowed for her uh, executive assistant to go. Um, unfortunately, we had to, you know, have some layoffs, some, some tough decisions to make to uh, stabilize, and we're once again thriving. Um, 
Um, I, I will also, uh, when we um, be going through our different um, uh, leadership on, on our professional staff, but um, we do not have a programs director at this time. We don't have an acting programs director either. Uh, so the programs report though is in the book on page 76. Uh, I also wanna talk a little bit about rolling to remember. Um, at our last meeting we had a, a year ago this month, uh, we were preparing for the first rolling to remember. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we were not able to have an in-person event. We did still do a small scale in-person event in uh, Commander Brown and our uh, national writers uh, leadership uh, led led a convoy around the Capitol. Um, but we are looking to do an in-person event this year. And we think it's very important. We know there's at least about 10,000 motorcyclists are planning to come to DC one way or the other. Uh, so we're working very hard to have a place for them to uh, gather uh, safely to start the day. This is the day before Memorial Day. Uh, this will still be the largest, the nation's largest one day motorcycle event and the nation's largest pro veterans event uh, of the year. Um, we're having some trouble. We've had uh, the Pentagon does not want us gathering there. Uh, we had a few other sites, they have fallen through, unfortunately, but we are determined to find something. Uh, so we'd love to see people in Washington, DC. If you go to rollingtoremember.com or of course, amvets.org, uh, or if you contact us and we'll also be sending information out as more details uh, come forward. Um, but I, I just wanna finish uh, personally saying how proud I am of our dedicated professionals at headquarters. Um, you know, the working from home has uh, certainly has challenges, um, and you know, a lot like when we all first got cell phones, um, you just become that much more connected. And now that we have uh, cell phones and laptops, um, work is pretty much around the clock, um, which is, is is you know it works out. And uh, we're very much looking forward to national convention, and I'll provide an update under new business on that. Um, this time, if our Chief Development Officer, Christine Kirkley, could you please give your report? Yes, sir. Good evening. Thank you, Commander. Thank you, NEC um, officers and other staff. Um, I move for my report on page 72 to be adopted at the proper time and happy to answer any questions if there are. Thanks, Christine. Our Chief Medical Executive, Sharissa Jackson. Hi, good evening, everyone, um, to NEC, to Joe Chinelli, to Commander Brown. Um, my report is on page 74. Um, I ask that it get adopted at the proper time. Thank you. If right. I may yeah. ask a quick, may I ask a quick question for Sharissa? Absolutely. Uh, through the commander. With all this COVID and everything else, do we have are we still basing our veteran suicide rate at 22 per day or have we had any type of updates? No, sir. So it takes about two years for us to get the accurate assessment of two years prior. So we won't know how severe the suicide rate was for 2020 because of COVID until probably next year or the year after. It takes about two years for them to get their accurate account. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, sir. A great question, John. Uh, our national communications man manager, Miles Miguelair. Hi, everyone. Uh, communications report is on page 75, and I move for its adoption at the proper time. Thanks, Miles. National membership director, Harry Neal. Harry, still with us? Our National Service Director, Michael Black. I'm in the game here, go. Oh, thanks, Harry. I was talking and nobody was hearing. Forgot that mute button, <laughs> got so excited here, almost knocked my water over. Uh, um, you were in the garage, so. <laughs> <laughs> I almost set this computer up in the garage. It'd been a whole different scene. But membership's rocking and rolling. Uh, staff's doing well. We're answering phone calls on a daily basis over the weekends and even late into the night, you know, for our brothers out in California. Uh, things have chilled down a little bit in membership. Um, <laughs> we used to get around 800 members a month. We're down to about 500. And I think this is a lot because the green hats are just not able to get out and, uh, you know, meet and greet and set up tables. We do have support packages available. 
you know, let your posts know when they're ready to set up, shoot us an email with an address and we'll get them a support package out. Uh, even though COVID has slowed a lot of things down, we managed to build a post during this last year in Alabama. Uh, Johnny Millingdale uh, built AMVETS post 316. So COVID isn't slowing the Alabama boys down at all. Um, I just wanted to mention, uh, and I'm going to put it up to the camera here, see if you can all see it. I, I encourage all of you to wear this pin on your hat. You've got to get three members to do it. It's the commander's pin. And if you uh, recruit three members into AMVETS, shoot me an email. We'll get you the pin. And when we all meet up at convention, any pin that I see on a hat, you can meet me in the sun's lounge and, and the drinks are on me. So uh, that concludes my report. Uh, please accept it. It's in the book. Harry? Yes, sir. Art Stahl from Pennsylvania. We have an SEC next weekend and we're bringing a new post in next weekend to the Department of Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Keep up the good work, Art. You guys are great up there. You're pushing, pushing Ohio hard for dominance. <laughs> keep, keep the push up. You're doing good. You're doing great. Say hi to Reed. That concludes my report. Hi, Sarah. Good to hear your voice. Well, thank you. Commander, District 6. Harry yes, left out. Washington Post 16 is brand new this year. And they, uh, they're a motorcycle group, right? And another riders, yes. We're working on that now. Right. So hopefully we'll see them in D.C. It's a long run. Thanks, Harry. You're National welcome. Service Director, Michael Black. Mike, you still with us? He has not appeared to be with us. Yep. He's still on mute. Um, if he can't, if he's having a connection issue, uh, Mike's report is on page 81. Uh, Commander, that's seen, but I can't. <laughs> Well, let's move on to uh, the Service Foundation report then, and we'll go back to Mike. Thank you, Commander. Commander Brown, National Officers, National Executive Committee, and fellow AMVETS. My report of activities with AMVETS National Service Foundation. The National Service Foundation has fought through economic turmoil caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, overcoming the severe impacts of temporary closures of every NSF owned and ever partner owned thrift store in the nation. Americans largely stopped charitable giving to organizations not directly related to the public health crisis. And to top of it all, top it all off, it was a presidential election year, which is always the leanest years for nonpartisan organizations like ours. This caused instability and could have turned very bad for our long-term future as it did for some of our fellow veterans organizations. But we reacted quickly and strategically to stop the bleeding and stabilize. We clamped down on our spending, doubled our outreach efforts, and implemented innovative tactics for fundraising, and most importantly, to continue delivering high quality services to veterans and their families. Now we once again on solid financial shape for the first time in a long time, we are not spending more than we're bringing in. We will maintain this extra conservative approach for the rest of the year, remaining ready for whatever comes our way as we progress into 21. All of our stores are open now and designated as essential services, so they should be allowed to remain open if another shutdown is ordered. Revenues are once again increasing and new locations are being considered. We also now have online shopping components that will remain operational for good. We have developed new fundraising tools using email, social media, search engines, online campaigns to solicit donations from our new population groups in ways we've never leveraged before. 
our service department, the largest operation representing a very large percentage of the NSF budget, proportionally, it was hit hardest early in the pandemic. The VA closed its offices to in-person work and we had to implement hiring freezes. But our core of national service officers found new ways to communicate and represent veterans, their families and their survivors. That was so important as the need for representation dramatically grew during the pandemic. Even with all the challenges, our service officers were able to bring more than $1 billion to service-connected, wounded, injured, and ill veterans during this time, a truly remarkable accomplishment of which every AMVET should be proud of. We continue with our conservative spending and aggressive goals to make AMVET stronger and help more veterans than ever before. This concludes my report, and I move for its acceptance. Thank you. Mike Black is back. Can you hear me now? Yes. Thank okay, you. very good. Good evening, Commander and members of the NEC. My report is on page 81 in the book. I do have a couple of remarks I'd like to do make. The National Service Officers or the Service Officers of AMVETS has been working hard over this last year, working through COVID. Like a lot of you know, the VA regional offices and a lot of the hospitals have been closed and we moved our offices into our homes to actually work claims. Uh, we're one of the very few service officers that basically we were only down for about a week or so um, at the beginning of COVID. So we've continued to work the full time. We've also had time during this year to open uh, two new offices. We opened a new office at Fort Hood, Texas. And at the end of March, we will finally have the VA regional office in Seattle open up. Let's see, was it for benefits for the, for, the, uh, for the last six months? The total amount of benefits paid out to veterans is $1,018,114,102. This coming out to basically an average payment per veteran, $1,461. With 121,000 active claims of what we are working right now. We've also sent two claims on to basically the Court of Appeals of Veterans of Claims, which is the court that's higher than the BVA. And the AMVET service officers are now operating and working claims in 25 different countries around the world. Commander, I remove my, I move my report for adoption at this time. Thank you like to entertain a motion to uh, accept the national staff reports. So move, Greg King. Second, McLean. Second. Then a motion and second uh, to accept the national staff reports. All I, have of a I, have a I have a suggestion, Joe Pining. Yes, sir. Uh, this is to Joe. Joe, uh, I would check the property around FedEx Field. There's a tremendous amount of parking area out there, and certainly uh, only for to remember, we'll, we'll be able to utilize that facility. Yeah, there. they so, turned us down. So yes. you already checked it out? Uh, we, yes. <laughs> okay, we well, it, it was a thought. Well, they want to Thank you. It a great location, Joe. It really was a great location. Um, the yeah, we'll field had us out. We walked the property with them, and then they told us it didn't align with their mission. Um, we're not sure what that means. We don't really have time to figure that out right now. We're, we're moving forward. Uh, we're talking with RFK's parking, although their parking lot has drastically been reduced as a, that stadium is going away. But um, stadium lots are probably about the, the size we need for this. Right. We have a motion on the floor I, I have, to right, accept one more, this. One more suggestion, Joe. How about uh, the, uh, Andrews Air Force Base? <laughs> uh, we'll look into that, Joe. Thank you. We had not thought of that. Appreciate that. All right. Let's try it again. Motion on the floor to accept the staff reports. It's been seconded. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Aye. Motion carried.
old business. Does anybody have any old business to bring up? Going once. Commander under reports. You got a couple of reports there from the uh, auxiliary president and the sons of AMVETS commander. Probably since neither of them there, we should have a motion to accept those reports. Okay. okay. And I would say- Gilgar moves to accept the reports of- uh, We have the auxiliary president. president here if you want to speak to hey. it. Well- Tom Jones, I'll we'll right, second the motion. <laughs> <laughs> Withdraw my motion. <laughs> All right. There's a motion to accept the uh, Commander Thibodeau's and President Baguette's reports in the book. That'll work. Been withdrawn. I'm sorry? Been withdrawn. No, to I accept the reports? I made the motion. Oh. I don't know if it was good. I, it's my motion. Jim King made a motion to accept the reports. Commander Thibodeau's and President Baguette's reports in the book. Is there a second? Second, Fred, base Georgia. Thank you, Fred. All in favor, <laughs> signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Okay. We're on old business. Anybody? Have the signs Hello? all looking old these days. Hello. 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 Yeah. Who's that? Uh, this is Jack Gray, New York. I'm having trouble getting through, but I, I'm on the phone with you. Oh, okay. You know, Thank you. Come in. Jack Gray, NEC, New York. Right. We accepted your report as printed, if that's okay. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I've had a lot of trouble getting through here. I'm sorry. That's, I, I yeah. apologize for your trouble. Sorry. All right. Hearing no old business, uh, under new business. Um, Commander Ho or, uh, PNC Hotop is not able to give the grievance committee a report and has asked PNC Brown to do so. Are you there, Mr. Brown? Yes, I am. Uh, the National Grievance Committee met virtually Thursday afternoon to hear three appeals. The members of the committee are myself, NEC from Tennessee, Ron Bottomley, and Mr. Ho Pat PNC Hotop. He is the chairman of the committee. Uh, also in attendance was National Judge Advocate Jim King, National Commander Jan Brown, and National Executive Director Joe Cinelli. On the, we had three appeals. Uh, and I believe each one of these has to be voted on individually. Uh, Mr. King, if I read the uh, outcome of each appeal, do we vote uh, each one, uh, or do you want me to read them all? That should be voted on individually. Okay. The first appeal was filed by Mr. T.J. Smith of Ohio. The committee determined that the charges should be dismissed without prejudice. I want to be noted that I, PNC Brown, recuse myself because uh, I am from the Department of Ohio. Move to accept. Uh, Go ahead, Jim. Second, second Greg Hume. A motion's been made and a second to uh, accept uh, T.J. Smith of Ohio motion to dismiss without prejudice. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 The second appeal aye. was filed. Aye. Are we ready? I, I was going to say all opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Uh, the second appeal was filed by uh, Ms. Kelly uh, Masek of Ohio. The committee determined that charge uh, was, should be dismissed without prejudice. And again, I recuse myself from being uh, from voting because I'm a member of the Department of Ohio. And I move for its adoption. So move, Greg King. Second, Long, Arkansas. Motion's been made in second to accept Kelly Masick of Ohio to dismiss without prejudice. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, the third appeal uh, on appeal filed by Ms. 
Miss Elizabeth Knight of New Mexico. The committee determined that the charges should be dismissed without prejudice also. And I move for its adoption. Second, King. Motion's been made and seconded to, for Elizabeth Knight of New Mexico, motion to dismiss without prejudice. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Myself and the committee would like to thank you very much for your uh, time and allowing us uh, and choosing us, I should say, to be part of this committee. And uh, that concludes the report of the National Grievance Committee. Thank you. Mr. Cinelli, you're up, National Convention. I, I believe everyone's looking forward to getting together in person. Uh, of course, we are scheduled to do so next at our National Convention in late August in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, we've had a lot of conversations with the hotel and the convention center there. Uh, they believe they are ready for us. Uh, in fact, the hotel as we speak here is a bubble hotel for the women's NCAA basketball tournament. And next week there'll be a bubble hotel for the men's NCAA basketball tournament. I bring those up because it shows they're gonna, they're gonna be very careful. They're obviously highly trusted by a major institution being the NCAA um, to follow all protocols and provide a safe environment. Um, I believe they'll be able to do the same for us. Uh, National Commander Brown um, and the National Executive Director for Ladies Auxiliary and the Chief Operating Officer for the National Service Foundation uh, will be going down later this month for a very small site visit, quick site visit in and out one day. Um, North Carolina is still uh, locked down pretty tight, uh, but they do anticipate to be able to fully host us uh, in August. Um, so I think that's good news, but the, the one concern that we still have at the headquarters is whether our members will be interested in trusting to come. Uh, so I, I urge all of you, if you want a in-person national convention this year, please let those who you represent uh, know this is gonna be done the right way. It's gonna be safe and please encourage them to come. We need to have a quorum for the elections and voting on bylaws, resolution, some of the really important work that we were not able to get done last year. We need to get it done this year. So we need members to come to the convention. We need delegates so we can have a quorum. Commander, that completes my report. Question. Yes. yes Question. Sir. What, what hotel is it at? Sure. It's the Sheridan at Four Seasons in Greensboro. Um, there is information on amvets.org under convention. Uh, Information will be coming out here in the next uh, week, too, including online registration. Okay, thank you. People to start registering so that we have a good idea of how many people are coming. Um, by the way, I should have mentioned, I neglected to mention that the hotel has said they would work with us on minimum room nights and minimum food and beverage. Uh, those are big business decisions on whether or not this can be viable. Uh, with them saying they're going to work with us, it makes it viable on the business side as well. Thank you, Joe. Thank Any you. other questions? Yes. Yeah, um, Madam President, Madam Commander, um, what are the dates for the National Convention this year? Uh, I don't have that off the top of my head. 17th through 22nd. Thank well, you. What was that again? Repeat, please. 17th, 17th through the 22nd of August. 22nd. Right, and the 17th is a Sunday, 22nd. so our official dates are through the 21st. Question, Commander? Yes, ma'am. If for some reason North Carolina or anything else is going on with COVID, will we be holding a virtual convention? What are the backup plans? Uh, right now, we don't have backup plans. So we're uh, we're counting on being in North Carolina right now. You're rolling ahead. Okay. We're just we're just gonna push our, forward. So because I'm not doing this another COVID, year. Our COVID cases in North Carolina, they're slowly but surely uh, on a downward spiral. Um, the governor's wanting like a 5%. In the last few days, we are right at the 5% or barely below the 5%. So we're headed the right direction unless something um, that we're really not expecting happens 
we should be okay here in North Carolina come August. That's great news. Thank you. And uh, speaking of convention, uh, we need to vote on the 2021 national convention rules. We all should have received those as an email attachment. Uh, basically the only changes were time and place. Uh, I, I think I highlighted anything that was different. Uh, is there any discussion on the, uh, on the Move. convention rules? Move we accept them. I second, second the motion. Breaking. Second finding. All right, there's been a motion and second to accept the convention rules as printed. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye. 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 New Jersey. Aye. Commander, I have a question. Yes. Uh, Gary Stewart, NEC, Louisiana. Why have we fallen away from our uh, from having our convention the first or second week of August? In our constitution, it says it will be held the first it's our second week of August. We've got juniors. The third or fourth week in August, most of them are back in school. I mean, when we accept it to have it the third week, we're going against our constitution. I'm not aware of that. Um, bad on me. Mr. King is. No, I, if, if, I could, if I could address that. Thank you, Jim. Years ago, we... we made them had a motion to and accepted on the floor with went to uh, constitutional amendment to limit our conventions to the first and second week of august because we had a lot of uh, members at that time who had children going to school and a lot of schools were starting the last part of august we don't see that much of it anymore another thing we run into is it you only got two weeks sitting there, and that's a very limited time to try to make arrangements, especially when you're working with hotels that have other groups coming in and going out. So we've had this several times in the past where we've actually gone into the third week or fourth week. This might make it hard for the juniors because, like you say, they're back in school. I mean, we want them to attend their convention. So sometimes you just you just can't get that, that two-week period uh, well, we, to hotels. we need to change the constitution then. We need to follow the change. Well, I'll tell you well, what. Well, we can't always get the hotels. That, you know. I'll tell you what. It wouldn't take. It probably wouldn't take a lot to change that back to say it'll be the month of August. Yeah. Okay. All right. We do have a motion on the floor to accept the convention rules. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Good in order, unless there's any other to bring up. Commander, if I may. Yes, sir. Greg Hume from Kentucky, National First Vice. <laughs> uh, I would like to announce that I will be a candidate for commander this year, with your permission. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Commander. Yes, ma'am. Um, if, if I can have just a couple minutes. Um, sure. Abby Lewis asked me to read a little note to you since she couldn't be present. Sure. Um, and before I read her note, if I can read her writing, um, I'd also like to add that Abby has been taking care oh. of a lot of the veterans in the Chillicothe VA um, through post-1928 in Columbus, Ohio. She personally handwrites over 120 mm. some cards every other month it place. to let the uh, veterans Low. know that they haven't been forgotten. And she won't tell anyone that, but I just wanted you to know that your national president is uh, doing what she can um, for our veterans out there. So now I'll read her little note, if you wouldn't mind. Commander Brown, National Officers, and AMVETS family. I hope you are doing well. As we all know that our organization has had to handle meetings very differently, and I have missed seeing everyone. I do want to mention that my project continues to be Honor Flight. 
Even though there hasn't been many honor flights due to the COVID-19, I ask that you continue to support and reach out to your department honor flights. I wish you all good health and hope we can be together in August for our national convention. Thank you. Those of you who don't know, uh, Abby turned 18 last Sunday, so yes. <laughs> she's uh, coming. And Momo's up. having a hard time with that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, she'll be fine. <laughs> All right, Don McLean had his hand up, I believe. Yes, Commander, thank you. Um, Don McLean, National Second Vice. I just want to announce that uh, I will be a candidate for National First Vice for the uh, at the convention this August. Thank you. All right. Uh, who else had their hand up? I can't see the hands. Commander Brown. Commander. National Commander. Commander. Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One at a time. <laughs> Commander, let's let's start with uh, Alan Smith if he's able to Thank you. Uh, take himself off mute. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to announce that uh, Greg Yoon would be a candidate for National Commander, but he kind of beat me to the draw. So I will double the announcement. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Horace. Uh, Commander Brown and fellow AMVETS, uh, I'm, I'm pleased to announce that I'll be running for the National Third Vice in August. Anything I have, any more? Uh, Jerry? Yes, this is Jerry Gennari, National District 2 Commander, Window 45. At this time, I'm stating my candidacy for the position of trustee on the National Finance Committee. I appreciate your support and vote. Thank you, Commander. Uh, Thank you. Order, Mr. Gennari. Sir. You're the outgoing commander for District 2? Yes. So you'll be replaced? At the convention. Yeah, you'll be replaced, right? Yes. That means you're not eligible to serve on the Finance Committee because you have to be a district commander during the year that you would serve. You understand? Okay, thank you, Mr. King. Was not aware of that. Uh, that's, why I, that's why I brought it up. Thank you. Anybody else? Madam Commander. Yes. Who is that? This is J.P. Brown, the third oh. past national commander. Uh, I'd like to announce my candidacy for another term on the Ambits National Service Foundation, and I'd appreciate the support of all you fine ladies and gentlemen. Any other hands up? Commander Brown. Joe, Joe Pining. Yes, Commander. Thank you. First of all, it's glad to see. I'm very glad to see everyone, and uh, especially Bill Clark, especially, especially, Just second, especially uh, Commander Mitchell. And also, I have an announcement. I will be a candidate for the National so. Finance Committee for re-election. And also, I'm a candidate. Or post commander, man, but it's post <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill Clark. You there, Bill? Bill. Yes. I just like to announce my county for national second vice commander at the uh, convention in Greensboro. Thank you, Jim King. Yeah. I'll be a candidate for National Judge Advocate again this year, and I believe that uh, Chris Studebaker, the NEC from the great state of Illinois, will be a candidate for the National Finance Committee. Anybody else? So, Commander, Chris, Madam has Commander, his hand up. who does? Chris Studebaker. Oh, Chris. That's all. Thanks, Commander. Uh, Jim beat me to the punch there, but yes, I am going to be a candidate for the National Finance Committee again at the post NEC. Thank you, Commander. Commander, we've got uh, Paul Shipley. Paul Shipley. Thank you, Commander. At this time, I would like to announce my candidacy for National Third Vice Commander for Ambest National. Thank you. We've got Those you don't know, Paul is the commander from uh, Pennsylvania. Anybody else? Bobby Madam Lumpkin. Commander. I'm sorry, who? 
Miles. John. John yes, Heckel, sir. NEC Michigan. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not running for anything, but just like to convey some information. Sure. Uh, first off, prayers for John Dowd, a past uh, state commander, a past NEC man, past quite a few things. Um, he has been admitted to the hospital with breathing problems, so prayers for that would be appreciated. And Carol Hebert, our, our executive director for the Department of Michigan, has announced her retirement at the end of our convention of our state convention in June, and the process is starting underway to uh, replace her. Thank you. Thank you. Commander, we have Arthur Stahl. Art Stahl, please. PNC Stahl. Uh, I had my hand up, but uh, Commander Shipley kind of beat me in there. I was going to announce that he is a candidate for third vice commander with the um, backing of the Department of Pennsylvania. Thank you. Got uh, Murray Strom. Mer Murray Strom. Commander Brown, I'm just asking about the Freedom Foundation and what we're going to do with it this year. If uh, we send a candidate, uh, can we tell them they're going to go or what's going to happen there? I, we, I, honestly, we don't know yet. Uh, we will have to, I will check with them and get back to you on that within the next couple of weeks. Okay, thank you, Commander. Got Mr. Bobby Lumpkins. Bobby Lumpkins, Texas. Commander. Yeah, this is Bobby Lumpkins from Texas, and I'm putting my name in for third vice at uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Commander? Yes, ma'am. This, this is Sandy from Ohio. Um, I'd like just to mention that um, Art will be, Majors will be running again for Provost Marshal. Okay. Is that Thank one you. more time, Art, uh, Sandy? <laughs> Commander. Well, yeah. Commander. Yes, sir. Commander Brown. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'd just like to announce that I'm running for re-election as National Finance Officer. I appreciate everybody's support at the National Convention in Greensboro. Thank you. Commander Brown. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Baggett. I'd just like to announce that uh, PDC Horace Johnson has the complete support and backing of the Department of Florida. Okay. All right, going once. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Commander? <laughs> yes. I would just like Back. to say thank you for all of you guys at headquarters for making this Zoom possible that we were able to actually meet and conduct our business yeah. and it be done. So thank you, all yeah. of you guys. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, there's been a motion to adjourn. Uh, anybody else before we? Back up. <laughs> All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. We will have the benediction. Gary, you still around? Russia Gary, won't wake. help. Is Gary still on? Does not appear so. Uh, Horace, hello? Are you, hello, Gary? Yes, yes. Okay. Bill, Bill Clark, take your hat off. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be, I haven't prayed yet. <laughs> I want to read from the book of Galatians, the, the sixth chapter. It says this, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. No, it's over now. Great. Benediction right now. Father in heaven, we are grateful for this time. You know, thank you. We know, Lord, that uh, this past year has been one that uh, has been trying for all of us. We want to remember those who have uh, suffered through this pandemic, those whose lives have been lost, the families that have been touched, and the caregivers that have had to uh, work through tremendous uh, uh, struggles and uh, trauma in their own lives and families. And we ask, Lord, your your blessing upon them and your, your hand upon them as they continue to work. We thank you, Lord, for uh, what appears to be a light at the end of this tunnel. And we, we thank you for the, your grace upon us as individuals and as a nation. 
We ask, Lord, that you would uh, continue to give us opportunities to serve through AMBETS, that you would be with us, to help us, to guide us, to undergird us, and to help us uh, bring about accountability uh, for those that we serve, for those that are missing in action, for those who may still be POWs. We thank you, Lord, again for all that we have. Bless our troops. Bless our nation. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Mr. Brown, PNC Brown, would you uh, honor to the callers, please? And vets, attention, the best you can. And salute. Two, go in peace.